There's a, a chain mail letter uh, going around YouTube at the moment and I presume that it's going to go around other places on the internet claiming that people who call upon the name of Jesus are calling upon the wrong name. Now, it's a very, very clever letter written by a very, very crafty individual. Now, I've been sent a copy of this, and uh, look how long it is. I'll just scroll down here for you. Now, this is what he's been sending people, this great big, long-winded uh, monologue aimed at whoever is gullible enough to listen to it. Now, the thing is, you see, your average... A uh, person who calls themselves a Christian and isn't born again um, is going to be guilt-ridden. You know, oh, I must sort of like um, call upon the correct name. If I don't call upon the correct name, um, the Bible's very clear where your salvation comes from. It it comes from believing in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead on the third day and confessing that with your mouth. Okay. And that's the name, Jesus Christ. So that's the salvation, okay? But what's in a name? Remember, it's the name above all names. And who runs the world? Satan. Now the Bible says, where there are many words, evil is not far away. Just take another look at the length of this letter that's being sent to people on YouTube. Look at that. Look how long that is. There's many words there. It's still going, look. Where there's many words, evil is not far away. The Bible also warns us about people who use clever words. And remember that the serpent, Satan, beguiled Eve in the Garden of Eden because she was told, if you eat from this tree, you will surely die. And God told her that. Infallible word of God. And the serpent said, you won't surely die. And she partook of that fruit. So, you see, this is where the trouble starts, where people start planting seeds in your mind. Now, I can tell you as a born-again Christian that when I was born again, and I put my testimony up on, um, up on YouTube, and i have put in the links in, this, in the side here uh, of the description so you can watch them, I put my, my, my testimony of my salvation on there and how I was filled with the Spirit. And that day, in those moments... When the Lord forgave me, set me free and filled me with the Holy Spirit. I come home from church and I just sort of like reposed and went to light a cigarette. And just before I went to light it, I, I just felt happy. And I, and I said, you know, I'm glad I believe in Jesus. And then I went to light my cigarette. And a voice spoke to me and said to me, Jesus. That's the name that was used. Jesus has healed you. And the voice spoke again and said to me, you're going to stay better. And I was completely healed from depression and the Holy Spirit filled me right there, right then. And the name I called upon was Jesus. My belief was in Jesus. And the New Testament, which is all about Jesus, was written in Greek. And how do you say Jesus? In Greek, Isus. You can also call him Gyrie, which means Sir. And the Bible also calls him Emmanuel, and the true Son of the Living God. And I call him Jesus. And when I believed on the name of Jesus, and I said, I'm glad I believe in Jesus, that's when Jesus was there forgave me and set me free and filled me with the Holy Spirit. Don't believe everything you hear. Jesus Christ is the name above all names and all the evidence proves it. The New Testament was written in Greek for a reason.